Well, the Holy Father has appointed a new leader for the territory of Southern Arabia. Bishop Paolo Martinelli has been an auxiliary bishop of Milan. He entered the Capuchin Friars Minor back in 1978 and was ordained in 1985. The region, known as a vicarate, comprises the United Arab Emirates, Oman and Yemen and has a population of 43 million people. Joining us now from Rome is Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to see you. Uh, can you tell us more about the Pope's appointment? Certainly, Tracy. But first, I just want to say that the diplomatic relations for this post on the Arab Peninsula are very important and sensitive. And Pope Francis accepted Bishop Paul Hinder's retirement and appointed now Bishop Martinelli, who has been an auxiliary bishop for the last eight years in Milan, Italy. Bishop Hinder has achieved great things for the Church on the Arab Peninsula. As Vicar Apostolic of Southern Arabia, he has steadily built and cultivated relationships in the United Arab Emirates, Oman and Yemen. For seven year, 17 years, he has been at the helm of this very delicate post. And during his tenure, there was the Second Catholic Church, for example, opened in Abu Dhabi and even built on land that was provided by the government. Secretariat of State Colonel Parlin went there for the inauguration in 2015. While the countries on the Arabian Peninsula are governed in accordance with Sharia law and Islamic principles, the Christian minority has still grown extensively. Most Christians living in this region are guest workers coming from Asia or Europe. As for Bishop Martinelli, the Archbishop of Milan, so his former principal, said that Bishop Martinelli will take care of the Catholic faithful in a very large region. And, and Andreas, uh, for those who aren't that familiar, let's talk a little bit more about the situation in the Arabian Peninsula and also the main challenges uh, for Christians living in that area. Uh, sure. So in these countries, there is no real religious freedom. People of other faiths are merely probably accepted uh, and tolerated, but not free to publicly express their convictions. The conversion to Christianity from Muslims, for example, is considered apostasy and prohibited by law. While religious freedom is protected by the Constitution, it, it only exists on paper. Muslim men may marry Christian women. This is not possible, vice versa. At the same time, in this area, there's a, a, a real humanitarian emergency. For example, in Yemen, which is uh, leaving 30 million people suffering, so two-thirds of the population uh, in this war are, are now uh, considered a human, humanitarian emergency. And this war is often forgotten because of other conflicts that are, of course, closer to the hearts of many people and also of the media here in the, in the West. According to the UN World Food Program, there are more than 4 million people who are internally displaced in Yemen just over the last couple of years. And also, before I let you go, I, I understand that uh, Pope Francis may be traveling to Lebanon. Uh, what more can you tell us about that? Well, Tracy, uh, from more or less the Lebanese government, there, there has been indications that uh, they expect the Holy Father to come to Lebanon even before summer. The Holy See has never confirmed this, but mentioned that it would be a plan that they are working on. However, with the increasing health challenges Pope Francis is facing, it seems less and less likely. But there have been a lot of papal trips planned lately. Congo and South Sudan are confirmed for July. Canada should happen in summer. Kazakhstan in September. And then maybe Ukraine and Lebanon even before summer. At the same time, the Pope has said this weekend that he will be less able to walk because of his growing knee pains. Well, Andreas, thank you so much for your time today and for that report. We really appreciate it. Andreas Townhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Thank you again.